So if we have, and this didn't come out very well, but this would be the nth root. That's the index right there. I don't know why it showed up right there. But if we have the nth root of some fraction, then we can just take the nth root of the numerator and divide it by the nth root of the denominator. And yeah, for what it's worth, b can't equal zero. We're not too worried about that. All right, so here's what this means. This one kind of seems like it looks familiar, but could be wrong. Let's go ahead and move this over. Is, just based on this rule, I can take the square root of 64x to the power of 9 and divide it by the square root of y to the power of 6. There we go. And 64, if I wanted pairs, this is going to equal the square root of, I'm going to make that 8 times 8. Then I'm going to multiply it by y to the power of 4 times y to the power of 4 times y, just because I don't want to write 9y's. So yeah, my apologies, those y's are x's. And if, you, if it helps to see that x to the power of 1, if we added all those exponents, we'd get x to the power of 9. And, of course, we're going to divide this by y to the power of 6. Again, just me being lazy, I'm going to make this y cubed times y cubed because that gives me a pair of y cubes. So right here I've got a pair of 8s, which I can pull out of the radical. And here I've got a pair of x to the power of 4s, which, I, again, I can pull out of the radical. And I'm going to multiply this by x. That would be to the power of 1, not that we need to show that. And then down here in the bottom, I've got a pair of y cubes. So there's our y cubes.